Rogers um, to engage with um, the coaching um, leadership model and working with Jan Robertson to enable us as a leadership get team to gain some particular skills, structures and strategies that we could um, firstly as a leadership team look at taking on board with each other and primarily with um, the professional um, goals in, in action PGIA model um, to enable our staff to then um, take on some of those skills to support um, and lead each other and mentor each other um, with their professional learning going forward. This year what we really wanted to do was give our staff some ownership over their own professional learning journey. So when we looked at our structures for Triple PR and how they had been in past years, we felt we wanted to, to give them the opportunity to name what they would like to see, how they would like to see it happen, and give them some choice and voice around who they would choose as mentors. design thinking approach where we're able to really tap into what our needs are as a teacher and to really grow from that. So we've been able to uh, choose our own mentor which was really powerful because we got to really think about who, who could meet that need for us and think about who, who's an expert in that area. Everybody has their um, expertise and everybody has their area of need. So to be able to identify that straight away at the beginning of the year has really helped with um, moving forward with. I found very beneficial to me personally and professionally. We were away from the school so there wasn't any noises with the bells or the children at school and I felt that my mentor actually was listening to what I was saying and I was benefiting from her knowledge and skills and she was listening to me. on the process we've undertaken this year. Um, we thought that using the design thinking process as a way for teachers to develop their own inquiry question was really effective. Um, and having teachers nominate EduCup as a strategy um, was effective in honouring their own teacher voice. Um, and it was also a way of structuring um, some really good deep conversations around teacher practice. Um, we've noticed that our teachers have taken more ownership of what they do in their classroom and we know there's been some changes in their practice. What's been notable is how teachers have engaged differently in data, identifying certain student learning needs and wanting to engage with others in professional learning conversations about why we collect the data, what are we doing with it and where to from here. So I think that's been a really big positive from all of this. Our teachers are more aware of the why as opposed to the how and the what. Moving forward, I think providing formal structures for our staff to meet regularly, to reflect on the data in our practice and to see how we can continue improving student outcomes. That's something we'd like to look into. This project's had a lot of merits um, in our school this year. I think one of the great things is that teachers can own their own professional development and that they can have the, um, we trust them that they're professionals and then they can engage with another professional in our school. We need to um, give a bit more time to this um, so that we've found out some of the little glitches so that we can bring this forward and look at it more strategically for next year. The process year. was really good because it gave us autonomy over our own learning and freedom to choose our own needs and really hone into what we needed to improve our own teaching. Um, and one thing that we perhaps would do differently next year is perhaps putting more structure around the process itself just to ensure that um, all staff members were accountable for their own professional development and that everybody got the same amount of support from their mentors. Um, so we're hoping that we can work with Jan Robertson in the future to help hone our coaching skills a little bit more.